Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Erin Elise and today we're gonna go over everything that I did in Vietnam. You saw the Cambodia part of my trip. I was actually in Southeast Asia for a month. So we're gonna start in the very beginning and that is when I flew into Ho Chi Minh, Vietnam. Okay, so this is my first time leaving the country and let's just say that I was very, very much in over my head and my planning skills failed me. Okay, I didn't have a lot of time. I was working a lot right before I left. The trip was very spontaneous and sporadic. So yeah, it was a lot when I first got there. Let's just say that the whole airport experience was basically a nightmare. Everything that could have went wrong did. Uh, we had visa problems, we had overweight bag problems, taxi problems when we got there, SIM card issues, currency exchange, and then we found out that the hotel that we were supposed to stay at didn't actually exist. So the first two days very stressful i'm not gonna really go into that uh leave a comment if you want to hear about all of the mistakes that we made most of them involving a visa if you didn't know visas are very important it was just crazy so after all the hiccups we finally had like a full day to just explore and have fun and that's where we're gonna start and i'm going to be here to kind of fill in the blanks because i didn't do the greatest job of filming those first couple days because i was very stressed i'm gonna be here to kind of explain when i don't have any footage <laughs> So the very first day that we actually went out and explored, we wanted to go to this amazing Buddhist themed uh, amusement park. So it was an amusement park, but it was also just like a very beautiful place. There were gardens everywhere. There were shrines, color, sculptures, statues, everything. It was awesome. <laughs> Smart. Smart. <laughs> One of the things that we did there was we got our feet eaten by those fish, like baby fish. Oh my god. Oh my god, you're really going at it, dude. We get so many stairs everywhere we go and we think we're doing something wrong every five seconds. People stopped on a bridge just to watch us. To and watch they, us. And oh. they laugh at us too. Like straight up pointing and laughing. <laughs> One of the rides they had there was totally a ripoff of Harry Potter and it had like Hogwarts and pictures of like Voldemort and a bunch of other characters from Harry Potter but like totally not trademarked or copyrighted. It was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, there's like skulls. <laughs> it ended up being a haunted house. It was literally a haunted house that you walk through. Like it was funny, but also so scary. <laughs> That was not Harry Potter. Oh, that was not <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> that was long. It was like a mile long. We wanted to go on a different ride after that, so we thought that this one looked fun and nice and, you know, I don't know, not a horror house. Why are all the rides scary? This one looked fun and now it looks scary. Okay, yeah, it's a scary one. It was basically like, it's a small world at Disney, but like haunted. There were animatronic zombies that were like, their skin was melting off, and it was so scary. Oh my god. Oh, that one was scarier than the last, in my opinion. I need to, I need to sit down okay. a moment, dude. I need to take a load. That was, that was a lot. That one was like weird. There were like dead people. Yeah. Um, twisted. Melting into each other. Yeah, that was scary. The park was massive, so we wanted to just hop on one of the little trains that they had to get a view of the whole park before we left. And they had a farm 
at the amusement park, which was really cool. They had grapes growing and a bunch of greenhouses. And I just thought that was really unique. So after the amusement park, we headed back to our hotel and we freshened up a little bit, but then got ready to walk around, check out some night markets, and we got some food. We found this super cool speakeasy cocktail bar with live music. That was super fun. The next morning, we got up and we wanted to check out the really famous market that was right by our hotel. It was very overwhelming, busy and crowded and quite the culture shock compared to the US, but it was very interesting to watch and see. But we were gonna be backpacking for another month, so we wanted to make sure that we didn't have anything in our backpacks that we were gonna have to carry the city has some beautiful parks with adult playground like workout equipment so we played on those went to a cafe got breakfast they have some of the most exquisite toasts in the world awesome we got four different types of toasts and we got to try vietnamese coffee too so because of all the chaos that happened in ho chi minh the first couple days we were actually leaving this day so we were getting on a plane but before we got on a plane we wanted to go to the War Remnants Museum. This is something that I think absolutely everyone needs to go to if you're visiting Vietnam, especially Ho Chi Minh, and especially if you're an American. The outside has like a bunch of these tanks, airplanes, and I recorded very little after this because it was such an emotional experience. It was extremely graphic, lots of photos from the war that will make you cry. I think it's very important that we all go and see that and acknowledge that this happened and it happened so recently and it can happen again and it kind of is in some places. So very, very good to go see. Make sure you bring a tissue box and don't plan anything fun afterwards because I know that after we left the museum, we were really glad that we just had a travel day. We were very much in solitude the rest of the day just because this museum is extremely, extremely impactful. So definitely go to it and definitely go to it if you're an American. The least we can do is go to this museum and learn about what happened. I know that I had not seen anything like that um, about the Vietnam War through my studies at a US high school. So after the museum, we hopped on a flight and then we were headed to a Vietnamese island called Phu Quoc. It was definitely a lot less hustle bustle at Phu Quoc than it was in Ho Chi Minh. We were staying at a hotel. We had a private beach access and a beautiful room. It was everything that we needed. And you can see here that it was absolutely stunning. The main thing that we wanted to do in Phu Quoc was go on the world's longest cable car. So that is exactly what we did. We got a taxi to where the cable car starts. And then the cable car goes over like multiple islands. And at the last island, there is a water park. So we were gonna do that. So I didn't get a ton of footage while we were at the water park because I was busy having fun at the water park, but the water slides there are literally insane. They weigh you, like four people go on the slides there and they weigh your party to make sure you weigh enough so you don't like, I don't know, flip the tubes and they go like up walls and like the funnels and stuff and it was insane. I actually got a big cut on my butt cheek because my butt was like too far in the tube and it was going so fast that it like 
yeah, my, my butt bled a little bit from the slides. That's how crazy fast and amazing they were. After we had fun at the water park, we got a taxi to take us back to our hotel. But on the way, we wanted to stop and see these crazy elephant statues. My friend that I was traveling with wanted to go see these so bad. And I remember when we were Googling them like three months prior. So when we finally got to see them in real life, we were both just like so emotional because we had such a hard time getting to Vietnam and being able able to see like what we saw on Google was like the best feeling ever. The sculptures are on a private beach resort so you do have to pay like a fee to go look at them which was kind of annoying but we ended up getting dinner there anyway so it didn't matter and it was just like a really great ending to a super fun day at the water park so that is pretty much everything that we did in vietnam and it was extremely rushed and chaotic and half of it i didn't even show you so vietnam was crazy amazing beautiful experience so glad that it happened but we are headed to thailand next we almost miss our flight so stay tuned for that and if you don't want to miss next week's video of thailand then make sure you are subscribed and give me a like comment and i will see you guys in the next video okay bye